election meddling. Fellas, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. The mishandling of classified documents. It's an unprecedented day in American history. And the falsifying of business records. Alvin Bragg is investigating former President Trump regarding a hush money payment. Just some of the 91 criminal charges facing Donald Trump. I am a victim of one of the great political smear campaigns in the history of our country. But how much jeopardy is he really in? Across four criminal cases, Trump faces 44 federal and 47 state charges, all of them felonies. First up, Trump will face independent special prosecutor Jack Smith's indictment. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6th, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. Courts will consider four charges, including conspiracy to defraud the United States. The indictment alleges Trump set out to sabotage the constitutional process by manipulating the election in several states. You don't concede when there's theft involved. And exploiting violence at the Capitol to delay certification of the vote. That same month, Manhattan's top prosecutor, Alvin Bragg, begins a separate trial. Trump is charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records. Donald Trump has become the first former United States president to face criminal charges. In order to cover up an alleged $130,000 hush money payment to porn star Stormy Daniels. Next up, Mr. Smith will be back to bring a separate case, alleging Trump kept secret documents long after he left the White House. He'll face 40 charges, including 31 counts of violations of the Espionage Act of 1917. They allege Trump stored boxes with classified documents all over the place in Mar-a-Lago, frankly. Including some detailing America's nuclear secrets. Finally, Trump will face prosecutor Fannie Willis in court, but his trial date hasn't been set yet. The court case will consider 13 charges against Trump and his co-conspirators, including racketeering, a law originally designed to target the mafia. The statute ties 19 co-defendants together. The grand jury believes they were part of the illegal effort to overturn the results of Georgia's 2020 presidential election. And alleges Trump was the boss of this criminal enterprise. Central to the case will be Trump's alleged attempt to put pressure on Georgia's Secretary of State to find the exact number of votes needed to win. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. Four of Trump's co-defendants have now taken plea deals, so the evidence is mounting against him. All this before even mentioning two ongoing civil trials in New York. But what will this litany of allegations do to his political campaign? The clashes between Trump's campaign diary and his court appearances, like the one on January 15th, where Trump is due at a Republican caucus and civil trial simultaneously, may turn the 2024 election into a crusade to keep him out of prison. But even if Trump is found guilty, it's unlikely he would see the inside of a cell before the election. When you go to bed at night, do you worry about going to jail? No, I don't, really. Legal appeals are unlikely to conclude by November. And if he takes the White House for a second term, Trump could even attempt to pardon himself. This trial is a total witch hunt. Incredibly, even if Trump is convicted before the election, there's nothing preventing him running for office from behind bars. By posing as a victim of political persecution, Trump's made his campaign about the cases against him, exploiting the trials to galvanize his base, which increases pressure on his own party to back him. If former President Trump is convicted in a court of law, 
would you still support him as your party's choice? Please raise your hand if you would. It's working. Trump's likely to be the next Republican nominee, and his polling only improved as the indictments were filed. Trump now has the biggest lead over his 2024 Republican challengers. Whatever happens in Trump's court cases, it's clear he'll try to play the outcome to his political advantage. Far from damaging his primary campaign, Trump's legal storms are only helping it.